thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss logarithms and indices. Solve the equation 3 logarithm of x to base 2 minus 8 the logarithm of 2 to base x equals to 10. Allow me to introduce a law in logarithms which says that uh, when we have the logarithm of a to base b, this can be written as taking a reciprocal and now the b and the number changes. And with that, we can say that uh, this is 3, the log of 2, and the log of x to base 2, then minus 8. And instead of, instead of what we have in there, we just take reciprocal. And now we will have the log of x to base 2. So we have taken the reciprocal, the number and the base have reversed. This is equivalent to 10. Now that the logarithm of x to base 2 is appearing to twice, we can let it be a certain unknown. Let the logarithm of x to base 2 be something, uh, say t, for example. So 3 t minus 8 multiplied by the reciprocal of t, then this is equivalent to 10. When we multiply through by t, this can become 3 t squared minus 8 equals to 10 t. The equation is now taking a quadratic shape whereby we can rearrange it to have 3 t squared, 3 t squared minus 10 t minus 8 is equivalent to 0. Now at this point we can solve it using any of the several methods. Allow me apply the factorization method whereby I need a product of a times c, which is a 3 by negative 8, so negative 24, and a sum equivalent to value of b, which is a negative 10. So I need two factors. Now, when multiplied, negative 24, when added, negative 10, and these are negative 12 and positive 2. Their product is negative 24, and their sum is negative 10. So 3t squared minus 12t plus 2t minus 8 equals to 0. So now I've replaced negative 10 with negative 12 and positive 2. In the first two terms, whatever is common is 3t. So we factor it out to remain with t minus 4. Then in the second two terms, uh, we will have 2 being common. So that will remain with t minus 4. And this is equivalent to 0. At this point, now we can pick t minus 4, our common factor, then into 3t plus 2 equivalent to 0. So the value of t now is going to be, when we use the first factor, t minus 4 can be equal to 0, or 3t plus 2 can be equal to 0. So the value of t will be either 4 or the value of t is equivalent to negative 2 out of 3. So those are the possible values of t. And remember what we had led to be t is the logarithm of x to base 2. So this can either be 4 or the logarithm of x to base 2 can either be negative 2 out of 3. With these two possibilities, we can now change logarithm equations to index notation, whereby we say generally the log of b to base a equals to c means that in case we take a power c, we will get the value of b. And if this is so, then it means 2 power 4 can give us x or 2 power negative 2 that can also give us x. At this point now, we will say the first value of x can be 16, or the second value of x can be, now we apply the negative law of indices, whereby when we have a negative law of indices, we can check the reciprocal and the power becomes positive. And at this point now, we will say x will be uh, the third root of a half, then squared because this again becomes the fractional law of indices. Therefore, uh, 
the third root of a half, then squared, will give us 1.587 to four significant figures. So those are the possible values of x, 16 and 1.587.